Have we shown Nala enough for everyone to like know who she is? No. Nala! We can still close the door. This is Nala. <laughs> this is Nala, you guys? Look at Nala. This is uh, Melissa's brother's uh, French bulldog. Uh -huh. And she, <laughs> she actually just uh, stopped uh, bleeding and stuff, so... Rocket's not too interested in her right now, but... Within the next two days, Rocket's gonna be going absolutely nuts with her. Hopefully, um, Rocket learns these next two, few days um, of how to get latched onto her, basically. So, we have some toys in there just in case they get bored of each other, but. I doubt Nala's gonna use that. And we also chose this spot because we don't want them peeing here. Everywhere. We're gonna tell you guys. Some tips on how to breed French Bulldogs and things to prepare for before you um, breed French Bulldogs. So stay tuned, we'll catch you guys in the car. Good morning, everybody. We're over here on our way to go catch, um, you know, the Mexico game, because, you know, we're Mexican. No, the kidding. Mexico game and the FIFA Cup. Yeah, the World Cup. the World Cup game. And we're gonna have some menudo. Rocket's girlfriend's right there, looking thick, fine, you know. Hi, it. She is pretty thick, though. Yeah, she is pretty thick, not gonna lie. Thicker than Thicker than rocket for sure, huh? Yeah, cause that's a good boy. We're gonna continue this video. First thing we wanna talk about is making sure they're first ready to breed. Cause like right now Nala isn't, Nala's ready, like she's ready, but she hasn't given off the hormone, I guess, to set off rocket and get rocket going crazy. Cause when Stella, our Australian Shepherd, if you guys are new, so when Stella was in heat, we sent her to her, like her boyfriend or whatever, a little too early and he wasn't interested. And then a few days later, we took her and he was going nuts over her. And so that's what we're kind of waiting for with Nala. So I mean, right now, even while the truck's moving, Rocket would be trying to mount her and stuff. So that's kind of like what we're, we're going through right now. We're just waiting for him to catch the hormone. Yeah. It's like a scent, I guess, yeah, they give a, off or something. I'm yeah, when sure. they're ready to be bred and the reason why we say this is because you can't just force it on them. If you do, it's not going to work because they're not ready. Yeah. They won't get fertilized. If you're studying your dog, you're going to have to keep the dog for extra days. Yeah, because you, you won't know exactly when. Because yeah. even if Rocket was too fat to like mount and stuff, he would still be trying to at least mount. And that's when you would help and assist him. But Rocket's not fat at all, so. Yeah. For the second reason of breeding your guys' French Bulldogs, or if you guys plan to breed your French Bulldogs. When breeding French Bulldogs, you're going to have to do regular vet checkups. Um, this is because they could come into complications mm -hmm. since they're smaller breeds. Almost always, you're going to have to do the C section. And if you guys don't plan on doing the C section, there is a really high possibility that your female just might die because of by giving birth and stuff. I'm just gonna put this out there. My mom had an English Bulldog and she gave birth naturally. Um, the first pup didn't die, but it was the biggest. She lived a long, happy life after that, but I've never heard of any French Bulldogs living from um, giving birth naturally. The reason that people usually need to get the C-sections is mm -hmm. because um, the puppies usually are born with bigger heads than their bodies. So that's gonna make it harder for the puppy to go through the birth canal and like be born. Yeah. And then with the regular vet checkups, they need to be like monitored for that. Reason. Yeah, and then it's usually like a few days before because it takes around 60, 60 to 65 days for a dog to actually give, to be ready to give birth. So they do, do it a little earlier, like around 60 days. Mm -hmm. Just to... Like she doesn't start giving birth? Yeah before she does it naturally. That's basically why people do the C-sections because they don't want their dog dying. Yes, or the puppies. Or the puppies as well. All right, you guys, so this is the third one. This is basically the artificial insemination part. In my uh, experiences, my mom bred her English Bulldog once, and that time they had to artificially inseminate her, and they had a vet on site. So basically, the vet has to get down and dirty with the dog, and um, collect it in like this little tube and he throws it in the female. So that's the way you like artificially inseminate a dog but with our case as far as French Bulldogs, some French Bulldogs can't as far as Rocket and um, Nala. Rocket's really young and he hasn't really like bulked up yet and I'm more than certain Rocket could just like 
do it himself basically maybe you might need a little assistance but for the most part, I'm pretty sure you can just get stuck to her. The only reason people choose to artificially inseminate them is because they're either too fat or... Yeah, that's the only reason. Huh? Or too short to yeah, actually, too short. To actually or, yeah, mount the female. Or even too old. Like, they get too tired easily. Yeah. And that, that breed is also prone to like getting really tired and not even willing to do it like three times. It's easier in the sense that you can get it over and done with within a matter of like an hour and basically secure the pregnancy of your dog. One also other little perk that I really like about the like breeding French Bulldogs is the size of them you guys. A lot of people don't like take this into consideration but her last litter she had 11 pups. Nine of them lived but it was just crazy they were the size of they were a little bigger than rocket you're not gonna have anywhere close to that many problems with french bulldogs first off because french bulldogs only have about like like three to six pups second off they stay tiny you guys like at eight weeks they're probably gonna be like maybe six pounds maybe eight pounds but by the time they leave they're not gonna hit 10 pounds or over they're gonna stay super tiny but yeah that's that's basically it, you guys. All right, you guys, but other than that, if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to push this thousand subscribers. We're around 130 until we get there. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out our social medias at the corners of the video. All right, you guys, also forgot to mention, stay tuned for Rocket and Nala's puppies. litter. Yeah, <laughs> litter of puppies should be coming out soon, hopefully. Um, hopefully they breed soon. I mean, she's, she's in heat and She's ready. We're just waiting on like Rocket to get that hormone in, I guess. We're so excited. We are, yeah. And the little room that they're gonna be staying in is, is in there. This is Rocket's little um, hotel that he rented out, you know? Oh my gosh. He rented out this little, um, this suite, okay? This, this little suite. It's just not lit up, but yeah. We, it's bigger than a regular coffee. That's where Stella's actually gonna stay. Don't forget to leave a comment on if you guys have ever bred um, bulldogs or any dog in general, but. Or if you plan to. Yeah, let us know how it went. And other than that, we'll catch you guys later. See you in the next one. Peace.